The Enigma Emporium has made it very difficult to review games. More specifically, it's made it difficult to review their games. And the reason I say that is because they don't make games per se. And the last time I talked about the Enigma Emporium, I was talking about their specific product, um, Wish You Were Here, which is a series of postcards. Each postcard had a number of puzzles. And what they did was they created a product that wasn't so much a sit down and discover together as a family in the matter of an hour type of thing. So when I agreed to do that review, I thought, sure, this will be very similar to Exit or Unlock, which also I'm not very good at. Uh, and much to my surprise, I spent hours at my computer Googling and trying to figure out small little things. And that's when it clicked what the Enigma Emporium was trying to do. They were trying to create an experience that couldn't be contained within the scope of an hour. It couldn't be contained to the tabletop. No, these postcards that they released were meant to be shared. They were meant to be delved into. It wasn't so much you were given something that was an all-encompassing. You weren't given a package and said, like, everything you need is in here. You were given a card and sent out into the world to use any means necessary to figure out what on earth was being said there. It was, it, it, my head, I thought my head was going to explode. So when they contacted me about doing a review for their next product, I was immediately enamored because what they said that they were gonna send me was Carte Rouge, another puzzle similar to their other ones, but this time in a complete deck of cards. The difficulty with these types of things is I can't really show you the product a whole lot because I don't wanna give anything away. Uh, but it is a complete deck of cards, uh, including jokers and a sort of welcome instruction card here that is just chock full of puzzles. And because because I can't really show you much, this is gonna be much more of sort of a vlog review. Yes, I stated, it is a deck of cards. And with a deck of cards, you were given a minimal amount of instructions. You have access to Enigma Emporium's usual clue system available on their website. But other than that, you're handed this deck of cards and you're not even told where the puzzles are. Some of them are fairly obvious, some of them aren't. You're just given an artifact and much like some sort of puzzle box, you have to decipher first where the clues are and then how on earth to open them up. And what I'm holding in my hand is just a prototype of what the final version is going to be like once it hits Kickstarter. There's going to be some foil on there, uh, a nice fancy box. This came in just sort of a standard white tuck box. Um, the, the idea behind this one is that the product is going to be usable and nice. So sure, you get a good number of puzzles and a really interesting, intriguing mystery, one that I've honestly, again, used a lot of the hints and tips just to make sure that everything comes together nicely and it does but you're also getting a full deck of playing cards one that you can take anywhere and so this is this is cool this is like what i was hoping to see would happen with the enigma important like the postcards are really awesome it's a cool idea that you've got a reusable puzzle um, with neat little looking artifacts but a deck of playing cards is far more tangible far more useful and a really great idea for this type of product which is really cool because i mean even in the board game community we're seeing a resurgence of some of the more popular older standard playing card games and all of those are available right here in this deck of cards uh, as well as a huge number of puzzles and one big encompassing mystery. It's the type of thing that would be a really really cool gift or just a really cool thing to truck around with you. Let's not even get into the fact of how just crazy I must have looked to my co-workers who first asked if I was playing solitaire at the at the break room table uh, only to find me with a notebook open with a uh, chicken scratch scrawled in there about what possibly could be on each one of these cards. You know, creating my own little ciphers, my own little uh, ideas and clues on what might be encompassed on these playing cards. And not only that, it, it extended to my home life. I'm, I'm home. I I'm, could be spending time with my family and I'm there at the table with my phone out, my computer open, trying to figure out what on earth could the Enigma Emporium be, be insinuating at? What is this storyline? And there is, there's a storyline involved with this. And you get so sucked into it that it's all engrossing and all encompassing. And that's exactly what you want from something like this. And Enigma Emporium has done it again, where they've taken that escape room genre, they've taken the board game, the tabletop game, and they've stretched it out far beyond the limits of the table. They give you an artifact, they give you an item. They don't say sit down and solve every single one of its puzzles right here at the table. No, they give it to you and you're told to figure it out. The puzzles are incredibly difficult, especially for someone like me that uh, enjoys this type of thing, but has my hard time has a hard time wrapping my head around it. You have to use 
at least again in my case you have to use a computer you have to google you have to figure out what on earth could some of these symbols mean maybe there's certain ciphers you if you can figure out the name of you can then crack uh, a code on the cards it's almost more of a live action role-playing game in the sense that you're given an object and you're you're just in real life in real time uh, as you go about your day as the days turn into weeks turn into months you still have this and you are in no time rush to get this completed it's as if you found this in your grandfather's attic and you know that it holds some sort of secret but you don't entirely know what that is some of them are easier than others and some i mean some at least one of them is very easy and when you get that nugget of information when you get that 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 aha moment it's awesome it's exhilarating but then when you get uh four or five hours of just nothing and blank stares down at the cards um, it can be a little bit frustrating so know that going in in addition their clue system while it's very useful i found uh, some hiccups in the sense that even if you went all the way and clicked to see the solution of a specific area on the deck of cards sometimes you weren't outright given the solution which when i get to that point i want all the help I can get, not just another hint, because honestly, sometimes I'm so thick that even I can't get that. And I said it before, I was excited to see what Enigma Emporium would put out next. And they've stepped it up by creating Carte Rouge, an entire deck of playing cards filled to the brim with as many mysteries as you could ever want. 